couple of really good discussions um, in the ones that I was a part of. Uh, but I just before we wrap up, I just wanted to say a couple of, of, of quick uh, closing remarks. So uh, first of all, um, there's a few thank yous that I wanted to say uh, for folks who helped put this uh, event together. Uh, first of all, I want to thank again Evergreen City Works uh, for all your support uh, in putting this event uh, together. I don't think we could have asked for a better venue. Uh, it's really an amazing space to be and really inspiring and allows us to kind of step back and think about things in the city and how we can make the city better. And uh, I think that's really one of the purposes of this space. So thanks for giving us the opportunity to, to be here. Uh, thanks especially to Jesse Darling, who's been the point person with us every step of the way in putting this event together and did a great job with her team of, uh, uh, of making this uh, work. Uh, the AV team is fantastic in helping us troubleshoot uh, all sorts of uh, issues that we had throughout the day. So a big thanks to them and a big thanks to the, the volunteers uh, who helped out with Evergreen, getting people to their workshops on time. That kind of thing it really matters to, to having a good day. Um, I want to thank the, the BBTO volunteer team. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is an entirely volunteer-run initiative. Uh, we've got a team of about 25 people who've worked on various aspects of this, from uh, the report, uh, to organizing the day, uh, to putting together the thank you cards and the name tags and, and all the details that go to planning a big event. And we normally have you know, event planning staff, we don't have that, we've got uh, hard working volunteers. So a big thank you to that team. Uh, and uh, you know, I do want to give a shout out to, uh, to Joe Snyder for facilitating this morning, to Andrew Doe uh, for presenting the, uh, the findings from the report. And uh, Joan Milway has been behind the scenes all day uh, doing uh, yoga's work. Uh, and of course, to all the, the volunteer facilitators and speakers as part of the workshops this afternoon, we had a fantastically talented group of people leading these workshops. And it struck me that we had some of the best uh, called professionals in the city talking about the themes that they were, were talking about. And, and everybody here is volunteering their time on a Saturday. And so I really appreciate uh, the time uh, that each one of you took to come and lead and facilitate uh, these, these really good discussions. So a big thank you to the facilitators. Um, I just want to make a couple points, I guess, about, uh, we're not going to do a big report back out of these sessions, but I, I do think one question that comes up is, how can people continue to be engaged? You know, what are some things people can do? You know, we have a kind of budget process and it's not one actor that makes that process, right? It's not just the city, it's a, a kind of ecosystem and we all contribute to it. So what are some of the things we can do collectively to make that better? Um, I think one thing is to engage in next year's budget uh, process or planning process as we were just discussing in our last workshop, uh, to try to engage early, to try to build coalitions, to try to build, uh, to bring evidence and stories uh, to the city to contribute to that process. Um, uh, being part of one of these participatory budgeting pilots, whether it's as an observer, uh, if it's in one of your communities, to participate, to propose an idea, uh, to help um, facilitate community sessions. These are great opportunities for the public to get involved, and if they succeed, then we'll have a chance to scale them. Um, a town hall, you can attend a town hall in your community, or you can host your own town hall. I mean, we've all got a little more knowledge about the budget now. Uh, there's no reason that uh, any one of us couldn't hold a town hall on either a local issue in a local geographic area or on a theme that's important to you, whether it's cycling or taxes or trees or anything that the city does. Um, or um, even having a conversation with a neighbor about the budget. Ask the, your neighbor what they think about the budget. Uh, there was a recent survey by Samara that said a very surprising number of Canadians don't even have a conversation about politics in a given year. Um, so having conversations about a budget sounds simple, but it can go a long way if those conversations begin to spread. And um, then if you're part of groups, uh, whether it's an advocacy group, a community group, a volunteer group, a business, helping them to improve their budget literacy uh, is an important step as well. And helping them to demystify some of these concepts so that they can participate and lend their voice uh, is another thing you can do with some of the knowledge that uh, we gained today. Um, so lastly, just a few next steps from our perspective. Uh, we we uh, got some great insights coming out of the workshops. And just as a quick note for those of you who were facilitating or capturing things coming out of the workshops, if you could just hold on to whatever your products are, whether it's a, a piece of flip chart paper or your notes, uh, we'll follow up with you to figure out what's the best way of getting some of these uh, pieces of information and insight online to be shared with people. 
Uh, we're probably going to send a, a survey. We've got to figure out the format of it, but we'd love to get your feedback in an efficient way about how today went, because we're always trying to improve things. And so, uh, you know, if you could participate in that when it comes out, that would be greatly appreciated. We'll try to keep it short, because uh, we're going to be giving you time. Uh, I'd say within the next two weeks, okay. uh, we would send something out. And uh, the last thing is, you know, because we are a volunteer-driven organization, I, we're going to give some thought to how we might scale up and make some more sustainable our efforts. Um, and so we're going to be thinking about and looking for potential, you know, partnerships or opportunities to, to kind of broaden our impact on a more sustainable basis. And we'd be very interested in having a conversation with others that think, uh, you know, there are, there are partnerships out there uh, that could allow this work uh, to continue, obviously on a volunteer basis, but uh, you know there may be some ways of, of scaling that as well. Uh, so lastly, I want to thank all of you for spending so much of uh, your time uh, today basically contributing to improving the city budget process. It's a, it's a great example of civic volunteers, and uh, as a, you know, a few of us were talking earlier, I think it's a great story uh, that so many people decided to come out on a Saturday, what was a beautiful Saturday, uh, to talk about this issue. And I, I think it shows that the public cares about it. We can use that as evidence to go back to uh, decision makers to say this is, this is something that people uh, care about. So a big thank you uh, to all of you. And uh, the last thing is that we uh, are gonna be starting our social uh, over at Cafe Belong, so just on the other side of this building. And uh, it's a chance to, uh, to have a drink and uh, to get to know some of the great folks in this room a little bit better. So thank you again.